every kilowatt hour that this solar plant generates is one kilowatt hour we don't have to buy. Summerland celebrated the grand opening of their energy centre on Tuesday, the first utility-scale solar and battery energy storage system in the Okanagan. Oh, it's been a long time coming. It's, it feels great. It's, it's, it's been eight years of planning and project management. And uh, so, so, you know, after that length of time and, and to see what we have, what's come out of it, it's, it's really satisfying. The once unused site is now home to more than 700 solar modules. And so this project is a cost-saving measure for the electric utility. Uh, anything that it generates from the sun offsets our bill uh, with our transmission wholesaler. So in, on, on our November bill, we should see a lower um, cost of energy for the Summerland Electric U Utility right away. Every single person in the community uses electricity. Every resident, every business, every farming operation, everybody needs electricity. So it's one of those rare infrastructure projects where the whole community benefits, every single person benefits. The project is a return to energy generating routes for the area. Summerland Electric Utility started back in early 1900s where we had a, a Pelton uh, hydro turbine down on Okanagan Lake and we were, generate, we were one of the first um, communities in the Okanagan to actually be generating power and that was Summerland Light and Power um, and its, its main focus was street lights. Um, and it grew from there. So um, since that plant was decommissioned, Summerland hasn't had a source of energy of, of its own. And so this sort of brings us back to those, those early days. For Castnet News in Summerland, I'm Casey Richardson.